Hello and welcome to another Blender Branch tutorial. I'm Kenan Prophet, and this is actually just a quick tip for you today. We're gonna create stars and cycles using uh, the sky texture. So uh, this is fairly easy, and uh, I kind of sort of combined a few different techniques that I've seen other people use for different things such as clouds and stuff like that, and decided to use it for stars. So yeah, right away I'm just going to select use nodes underneath the world panel, change it to the sky texture, and I'm of course in cycles. And I'm going to use the node editor, so I'll change my timeline to the node editor, and select the world panel down here, bottom left. And here we have our sky texture, and if you press shift and Z, we have our nice rendered viewport there. Now the first things first, we want to get the horizon line where we would like it. So currently it's in the dead center of our frame and you can move your camera up or you could simply press shift A, add a vector mapping node, shift A input, texture coordinate. And we're gonna take the generated output of the texture coordinate since our sky texture is a generated texture and plug it into the mapping and the vector into that sky texture. And now what we're able to do is uh, if I hold down shift, I can adjust this uh, number in smaller increments. And we can just adjust the horizon there, about right there. Very nice. All right. Now, uh, the next thing we want to do is because this is a night scene, of course, we need less light. So I'm going to go a strength value of 0.5 for the background. Actually, I might go 0 0.4. That way it looks more like nighttime. And I'll just grab these over to the side because we'll need more space. And if I press Shift A, I'm going to go Color, Mix RGB, and drop that in. Now I'll Shift A, Texture, Noise Texture, and this is going to be basically our stars. So if I increase that scale to about 500, and I'll take the detail to 16, which is as high as it goes. And you can do a little bit of distortion, maybe 0.05, it doesn't really matter. The noise has enough distortion uh, in and of itself. And I'm just going to take the factor of that and plug it into the factor of that mix RGB. And you can see we have a whole bunch of noise and snow. So we need a way to make this more prominent because that is essentially our stars. So if I press Shift A, go to Converter, Color Ramp, and drop that in. Now I can move these two values together until we start to see something that resembles stars. And uh, of course, the more white you have, the more um, you know cloudy your scene gets up there, the more black you have, sort of the more blue. So just kind of a rule of thumb. So that looks good. I think I wanna make it a little more prominent so I can press Shift A, go to Color and Brightness Contrast and drop that in and increase the contrast to about five. That makes our stars a little brighter, but we have to sort of readjust using this color ramp. And there we go. You can see, yay, stars, just like that. Now, of course, we have a problem because they intersect with the horizon. So this is an easy fix. What we need to do is uh, tell Blender where to stop the stars. So to do that, I'm just gonna select these two nodes, press G to grab them over to the side press Shift A and add in a vector normal node. And I'm gonna duplicate this mix RGB node right here. So I'll press Shift D and duplicate it. And I'm going to plug the dot value into the bottom of that mix RGB that we duplicated and change it to multiply. And I'll put the factor all the way to one. And now currently you'll see nothing, but if we take the vector output of our mapping node and plug it into the bottom of that normal map, you can see da -da, our stars fade into the horizon. And that looks pretty realistic and that's extremely useful. Now you can, of course, accentuate this fade by um, pressing Shift A, adding a color ramp in between the normal map and the mix RGB, and just increase this white value right here. You can see, you know, that makes that line a little bit harsher. We can change it to maybe B-spline, which is softer. 
and drag that out. Oop, we reverse them. So you want a little bit of blackness. You can see that stars are fading into the horizon, much like um, if you were to look out into the distance to see stars, that's exactly how it would be. So there you go, that's uh, pretty much it. You'll also want to, in this, forgot about this, this mix RGB right here, you wanna take that color all the way to white. That'll make your stars pop a lot more. That's very nice. Now, obviously, uh, if you were to use this for a scene, you would want to add some color to the actual sky. And that's very easy. You can just move these two nodes over, press Shift D, duplicate that mix RGB node, and then Shift D again. And what we're gonna do with this one is basically create our colors that we want in the sky. So we'll want a nice dark blue, and essentially that same color, but maybe a little bit lighter. And now if I press Shift A and add in a texture, and we'll go a nice musgrave texture, take the factor of that into the factor of that mix RGB, and take that color output and plug it into the bottom of that mix RGB that we added. And boom, you see now we have um, more of that night sky look with a difference of colors in the sky. You have a, a nice dark blue mixed with sort of a darker blue. And uh, that helps to sell the fact that you know, there's those light patches in the sky, sometimes lights bouncing around out in outer space and you see more. Now I think I'll just adjust my horizon a little bit, make it a little bit lower. You can see more what's going on. Yeah, and there's all kinds of things you can do. You can always increase or decrease the scale of the stars. You know, if you want sort of patchier stars going on, you can always adjust the amount and things like that. It's all up to you and uh, really possibilities endless here. But yeah, that's, uh, that's my tip of the day. That's how to create stars and cycles. Pretty quick and easy tutorial, but I hope it's useful and hopefully you can use this in your nighttime renders to uh, create great artwork. Thanks for watching.